man. Take it easy. Ow! Move. I, I didn't do anything. I am right. Marinick. Marks, what the hell's going on there? The threat is real. I want you to stop doing whatever you're doing immediately. I have a suspect in custody. I need a background check. Seat 24E, Tom Bowen, B-O-W-E-N. You have unlawfully subdued innocent passengers, Marks. I don't have time you for this. You called your supervisor before the flight and threatened what? him. He wouldn't book you an overtime flight, and you said you'd do what you have to I do. I didn't threaten anyone. Is that right, Marks? I need to run a full check on Tom Bowen, seat 24E. Marks, damn it. Now, you're wasting time. Marks, Agent Marks, you are hereby relieved of duty. Do you hear me? In three minutes, someone on this plane is going to die. Do you hear me? Nonstop doesn't have the most plausible plot, but it does have Liam Neeson, and that counts for a lot. Neeson has become an action star late in his acting career, and he's really good at it. Here he plays an air marshal who's not really happy with his job. Drinks too much, personal problems, things like that. Everything you've heard about me is true. I've lost my family, my job. I'm an alcoholic. But he finds himself on a plane, and all of a sudden a crisis erupts. I'm not hijacking this plane. I'm trying to save it. There's a threat. Someone is going to kill a passenger on the plane every 20 minutes unless $150 million is paid into a bank account. As I said, not the most plausible story, but Liam Neeson, who is a good actor in addition to being very imposing physically, he makes us believe it. He's convincing. He cares about these preposterous doings and that makes us care as well. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.